Welcome to Trooper's Travels. I'm at Nairsby today, as you could guess, with Nairsby Sign at Train Station. Um, did have a wander around here. Sun's out again. Better put my sunglasses on, it might be better to see. Um, so, a little bit about Nairsby. It's a market and spa town. It's civil parish at Riverdead. Uh, it's three miles east of Arrogate, and it's mentioned in Doomsday Book at 1086 as Chennersburg, meaning. Senard's Fortress and Nairsbury as a castle that is Norman. Come to this little quaint little coffee shop on, on station platform. Old ticket office. Coffee's lovely. So we might as well start as we normally do. We normally start like this anyway, don't we? Uh, but we're gonna have a look round. There's quite a few futures here. And there's uh, Mother Shipton's Cave. Um, Mother Shipton's there's fire duct, there's castle. And it's a sunny day, so I'm even better. I don't want to get rain. Um, there's an old, an old house in in, in the cliffside, and there's an old riverbank. So we'll have a good look round and see what you think. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. Sunday. I think they're going to be there for Sunday. And where are you trying to get a train to? Uh, I think it's way south. Yeah. So, 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 anyway, this is still on dry. <laughs> this is what's on my bedside table at the moment. I find the ground at Yeah, on page 10. I'm starting at the time. Oh, he needed it. He's a picture of my bedside table. Yeah. 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 This is a very picturesque, isn't it? That's your river Nid. That's the viaduct, we'll see more of that later on. And up that hill is the castle. A nice thatch roof there, oh, see old thatch? After I wander down there, I don't know if I'm gonna go on a boat, but we'll try it anyway. But that is the old, the viaduct. We'll get a better view of that further up when we got to the top and we'll have a wander up, up to the castle. This is the mitre, this looks like a pub. The old signal box, which is straight out corner, I'll just zoom in on that for you. Mighty Hotel sits on the site of a former public house, the Wheat Sheaf, which was rebuilt around 1923. Name acknowledgement to the High Church Bishop William Stubbs, 1825 1901. Distinguished Oligan. I can't even pronounce that, I'll just show you. It's just easy. It's the public health, it's not open yet. Probably too early. Never too early though, is it? And that's the we'll go over level crossing. I think that's where do with civil war that. He's shooting. And he's pouring some it down like boiling water from it. And that obviously that's your uh, your chilled house. We'll go across anyway, we'll have a look round. Welcome to Nairn. Mm -hmm. And that's your old Victorian station. This platform to Leeds, I believe. Castle Museum that way, so we know which way we're going now. We've got some signs and another hill. So let's get to the top and we'll have to see how we go here. Plenty of shops in, uh, in town, McMarket Town. There's an interesting pie shop there, Appleton's. I think I'll invest in a couple of pies. Advertising, good. 
have a look. What do we have? Do we have a sausage roll? And do we have a steak and kidney and red wine 240? I think I'm bought on that one. Hold down all. So this is the Eastgate, while I'm looking here, um, it is free to get in but there is a charge for actual uh, the castle it's in the grounds, I think that's the castle over there. <coughs> this is the castle which we'll have up round shortly. Hyper entrance here, isn't there? That's the keep in it. I don't know how much access you've got when you get inside it. And that's your drop. But we'll go to tourist information and get some information I can give you some bump about it. Little peckers. Welcome to the King's Chamber. So this would have been the fireplace, you can see, I'm going to go back a little bit, it's easier for you. I suppose it could be called medieval central heating, fire lit all time and obviously it were uh, magnesium stone so it insulated so it could be called medieval uh, Central eating. <laughs> Some type of green stuff there, I don't know what that is. And this would have been guard rod, this. Let's have a quick look in here. It'll see for somebody to sit down. So, guard room was a small room at the back of the left corner of this building. The room was with a, with a toilet room. So imagine that would have been the toilet room, but it's no longer there. Um, below there's covered seats on the chute, where all the waste would have carried into the ditch. 
so that's been that's done it looks like it's been cemented in um, yeah this is the key smell out the usual lodge for a guard robe uh, but it's clawed with stone in here too uh, the smell of moths to keep this to keep the moths away and the modern word wardrobe is deprived from the wardrobe didn't know that yeah but that's a little look at if you can see much out there really but it's quite a big substantial and big slow I'm going to look at the, uh, the buttery now these are stone balls they're not cannonballs as such it says here they weren't cannonballs but they were loaded into a, a huge wooden catapult called a trebucket and, and used in defence to fire out over the castle walls. Basically, it's a catapult weapon in it. Um, and then, I don't know what this water trough is. Stone trough that were found down in uh, Danite River by Victorians. But they're not sure what it is. Perhaps a coffin, I don't know. Maybe a coffin. And this is your buttery. So, buttery. This is where they would store butts and barrels of food for stored here. The keeper of the butts resided in this room. Uh, there's some um, priory stores here, look what they are. From what priory? Let's have a look. Trinitarian Priory, we'll have to look at that. This is now Abbey Road. No, no it's left it apparently. But yeah, this is the uh, the butter room where the modern and this is where the word modern word butler has come from, the buttery. After Castle's demolition this room would have become a prison so up to 26 people in here. Hmm. A prison, 26 people in here, that's really small isn't it? This included women and children. The window was added at the room, became a prison cell, and was the only source of light. Well, there's not much light there, is there? But anyway, we'll have a look round. We'll go up to, to King's Chamber next. Very similar to Roach Abbey, isn't it? With all these arches. Amazing architecture when you look at it for, for medieval times, Norman. No, there's no roses on them, no. them rose balls on them. But, yeah. Mm. Right, let's go up to the King's Chamber then. This is where the royal one would have lived. Very warm steps. Let's go around on here when we get to the top. And there would have been some more went up there on the top, which we can't get on. Anyway, let's have a look. Let's have a nosy round while well, we got some peace and quiet. Just get me bearings with this because I've got some information but I've got it all mixed up. As here, when you come on, so this would have been the king's room and when you come through the doors, if you look to your left, which is that, there's a uh, raised stone dyers. So demand this is what this bit is here. So this would have been the king or lord would have sat. There would have been a roaring fire to one side to keep the room, entire room warm which I should imagine that would be the actual uh, fireplace because that's directly below that. Uh, near the stone there's an all, the whole, all round room uh, which would have stained glass. Uh, which I should imagine to be that bit there. Lots of pigeons again. Uh, it was extravagant, ex extravagant for the time and indicates the wealth of the castle. Now I'm not sure when it were actually uh, built but I'll have to find that. 
and the spiral staircase I walked up to access the fact of the service staircase kings and noble visitors would have used a wider staircase located at the right of the of the room so where would that have been then well that's, in fact that's the fireplace what am i talking about and that's your fireplace what a wally what a wally anyway that's that bit there I thought that was fireplace, but that's where they would have sat. Uh, see how far I can get with this. I don't think I can get very far with this. I think it stops you so long. That's your views. So this is a, a seating area as well, which is good. If you want to rest your bottom. But yes, there's the castle, a Norman stronghold. Well, we've enjoyed that. We'll go down at Dungeons next anyway. There's a lot of kids running around and it's a little bit noisy when I'm down there, so I have to keep stopping. But this is your Nesbury Castle, if you've never been. Worth a visit, £3.80. There's a courthouse which we'll investigate next, which is, if you look this side, it's there. That's your courthouse down there, but we're going to go back down there. That's where you pay for your tickets as well. A lady downstairs is really uh, helpful. She gives you information. She gives you like a sheet as well, so it's worth a visit by anybody's money. But yes, lovely. I like stuff like this. We're at Nantic Dungeon. But I should imagine that's where the staircase would have been in this area. The biggest, I'll ask that lady when I get downstairs. That, some type of staircase would have been here but that's your fireplace like a wally I thought all the place were it let's have a look we'll go back downstairs now we'll look at dungeon nice and steady oh. but that's your other staircase up there which you can't get to and it is they are pretty warm these oh, very slippery not much room either. To the dungeons. Let's go down. Nice pigeon. Ooh, this is a bit spooky, isn't it? Quite a big dungeon. Ooh, nice bit of light and all. So it light the eye. Very similar type of architecture for bottom, but this is the uh, the dungeon, allegedly. So originally this would have been a storage area for food and things and other supplies. People were a lot cooler, cooler and temperatures were fairly constant. Conditions were perfect for storing large amounts of food and other provisions. It's kind of like a medieval fridge, really, isn't it? If you look at it. But then it will obviously be turned into a dungeon at some stage. After establishment at Courthouse in 1600, the room changed from a cellar to a prison, and prisoners were held here. The outer walls are 15 feet thick, so you're not going to get out of here. The wind is the only source of light, which is. Ooh, you see, isn't it? That one, that's the only source of light. Uh, the only, and there would have been bars over it, however, it's thought the bars were put in place to deter thieves from stealing f food. So basically that's your, that's where your bars would have been. And apparently there's some medieval graffiti in here, I'm trying to find it. 
uh, and arrowheads, a mermaid, and even a frog. Mm, they are located on the walls at the top of the staircase as well, to the left hand side of the dungeon as you enter it. I missed that, like a wallet, but I'll just see these. I'm going to see if I can find out one here, but I think I'm looking at the wrong place. But this is your, your dungeon. Let me out. But yeah. Up to 15 people, but yeah, that other place. 26 in that smaller room. Uh, let's see if I can find the actual medieval graffiti. If I can find it, let's give it a second, let's see if I went to the wrong place. So, these, this is graffiti, you can see that. Let's go down a little bit. There are reds. That's it. Graffiti, arrowheads again. That's arrowheads. Trying to find some more stuff. And there's some, there's some more down here somewhere. Bit I didn't have a torch. Uh, if I can find it. I can't find it. I'm right, trying to find a needle in here, it's like, isn't it? Give me a second. And this is your graffiti, what I've just missed. So if you look there, there's a man. See that? I don't even see that. We got railings. There's a a sword or a knife, some stuff there. Let's have a quick look if you can see this properly. But yeah, that's the ones I missed. Here yeah, and there, to right on the side of the stairs, you go down here. Just don't know if there's anything else I've missed. Well, that's a better view of man, you can see him down really. And one spot be a mermaid, but I'm not sure about that. I don't know all that is there. Some graffiti here. But yeah, that's your dungeon. Unlucky last look before I come out. I'm gonna to the court house. But if you get down here, that seat is stuck, and there's no going out. Park down at the bottom and then park up there, and it gives you, you know. But it is, uh, <clears throat> would it be a medieval site, the steps going down? Stupid, yeah, and coming back up. <laughs> last time, last time, and I'd love to know how these two ladies have got halfway up, but last time I came up them, two elderly ladies, and I'm talking, and then ticket gets into the museum here and into the castle over at the side there, okay? Thank you. Thank you. This is the Sally Port, secret tunnels. Have a quick look at it. I don't know when it's open, but <laughs> you never know, do you? It might be part of a door, but this was the entrance of one or two Sally Ports built around 1300. Um, we used as a secret entry and exit from tunnel. Tunnel was large enough for a small group of armed men and to leave the castle secretly, launch and attack on besieging troops. The tunnel is cut out of solid rock and it slopes deeply down the dry moat to the castle ditch where there's an exit. Hmm, we can only do it in September. 
but that's what's down there but you can't really see much and that's your sally port i want to continue now we've kind of did that's the old courthouse uh been in there early did some come back it's a bit quieter now um but we'll explore while it's quiet now and give you some more information but this is my curtain wall and it's quite a vast area and it's free as well i like free things don't i uh but yeah that's your old court that will get further down and give you a bit more information now and it's going to be quieter bit too noisy early. So this is your old courthouse. Uh, been inside it early, it's nice and quiet. It also acts as a tourist information. Uh, £3.80 for museum tour and for King's Tower. A nice uh, little flower bed there for Queen Elizabeth. And my nose around. So initially the earliest part of this courthouse is an undercroft which is its stonework appears to be late 12th, 13th century. Um archway door on the left, which is that there. So that would have been where they went in. I think it's currently being stored. We uh gardening tools at the moment, but basically that's where the prisons went in. I did show you that bit inside where there were trap door. Uh, and it was coming to a court. I've got things at court anyway. So obviously that's the archway provided lodgings and a chapel and a deposited for administration tools, records rather. The building is now a museum where you can find out about the medieval castle and later the sphere of Aysbury. Uh, and if you love a quick look at that, you can see them. I have took some pictures of that anyway. But that's your courthouse. That's your king's tower up there, which I can come round and when there's not so many people about but yeah been a cracking day and it's a freebie this but obviously you have to pay to go in there i've been in dungeons sure do to hold medieval scrapings what people dug out into rock vandalism even then man if they were going to be uh, executed possibly but yeah and that uh, flower bed that's the nursery and bloom competition winner Queen Elizabeth that but you yeah, will love it all year round some good views at place and also let's we'll get a bit close and then we'll talk about it this is your war, your war memorial and grounds from the festival of war you can see that sun's quite bright 1940 to 19, uh, 1918 so we get first world war That's the Second World War, 39.5. That's your First World War. That's your, that's your 1945 Victory in Japan Day 2020. 45-2020, that's some type of memorial bench, it's got poppies on it. And obviously these are your views. Nose around. quieter now. That's your viaduct, make it a bit bigger if I can. I've been down there earlier, we can get to that uh, carved out church. I don't think you can hear me, it's a bit windy. Some cracking views isn't there? Look at that. And it's been a lovely day and all, so not really complain. house again there.
No boats. They're all put away now, fuck day. Might get a train going of it, viaduct and all. Unless I missed it. Cracking place now, bro. Lovely place. And that's your King's Tower, which we went in earlier. And I believe <laughs> that's your dungeons there, which we had a look at earlier. Have a walk on top and we'll have another look round. Bit more information than I think we've done here then. But lots of walks around here so yeah, lovely walks. Steady walk and it's free, all free, worth a visit. And this is the King's Tower again. So a ruined castle fortress of a look in the River Nid, owned by the Duchy of Lancaster. I've looked round, I think it's closed up for me, that's your dungeon where I went. Built around uh, 1100, rebuilt 1301 to 1307. Let's go back a bit, see a bit more. They were in use until 1648. There's evidence that the work was called, carried out in 1130 by Henry I. In 1170, Hugh de Morville and his followers took refuge after the, the assassination of Thomas Beckett, according to form. Um, that's the one what got murdered. The castle was taken by parliamentarians, troops, 1644, and obviously in the 1644 during the Civil War, and a lodge, lodge destroyed in 1648. Not a result of a, a battle or anything, it was just because people, they were ordered to dismantle any of all these castles. And many town centre properties now have got uh, the stone from the castle. So that's it, really. I can't tell you much about it. And the security wall, where I'm. Worth a visit, like I say. Lovely. But like I say, peaceful in his garden. It's a lot more quieter now if you come at this time of day. So I'm a bit mental early, if I'm honest. But that's the castle at Nairsborough. Bit more of it, what's left of it at ruin. I'm trying to a little doorway. Go in here, let's have a look. And then Your drop. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little snippet. There's the castle. I will go to town now, get a few beers, and turn off from Nairsborough Castle. See you later. Bye.